actually like headphones with a microphone. Can I call them that? That would be fine. All right, That's so. That's great. Mm -hmm. really headsets, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, scientifically. But anyway, what do we have here, Crystal? Okay, so basically what we have here is our audiophile headphones kind of merged with a microphone. And um, what we found was a couple of years ago, we kind of have this like cool cult following with gamers with our audiophile headphones, which makes a lot of sense because if you think about what audiophiles do, they like to listen for long periods of time. Gamers like to game for long periods of time. So like the comfort things that are built in, like this 3D wing support and these really cushy pads, like totally make it worth it for the gamers. And then also, um, you know, if you think about the clarity that gamers expect in their gaming and the audiophiles expect in their music, you know, that kind of made a lot of sense too. There's a lot of meticulous engineering that goes into this that gives you a really nice big open sound stage feeling. And so you're hearing things that are coming from the left or the right, or you're hearing a lot of that clarity that you're looking for when you're gaming. Um, so those, you know, that married with the microphone kind of made it all complete. You know, we've been doing like audio for like over 50 years now. And uh, so the microphone, like adding that on was no problem for us. Um, it does swivel 100 degrees back and forth and it moves around and it has a little mute button here. And uh, basically it's got a 3.5 millimeter jack, but it also comes with a uh, USB DAC converter. So it's everything that PC gamers are looking for. Now are these 32 ohms? Uh, yes, I believe they are. I, I haven't memorized the ohms yet, yeah. so. Uh, what are these based upon? Are they based upon a regular uh, set of headphones? They are. They're actually both of these models. This is the closed back version. There's an open back version here. They're based on the A700X and the AD700X in our audiophile line. The closed back, you can see, has this nice thing here, which is what regular headphones typically look like, right? The technical term there is that the thing. The thing, the that, thing, that, that the... thing that encloses them. Yes. Yeah, and then, you know, the open back actually kind of has this mesh screen, and you can hear, you can kind of even, like, maybe even hear the sound yeah, that's right coming there. through right now. Um, so the, the open back actually gives you an even larger um, kind of listening environment. Like, you know, almost, I, it's, I know this seems kind of funny, but you can almost feel the, the sound kind of coming all around you. Like it, it kind of opens up the sound stage even more with the open back headphones. So there's a little bit more engineering kind of that goes into that um, so that you can have kind of this more open environment. So really great for doing things alone or gaming alone so that like you're not bothering your, you know, the person that's in the room with you. Um, so the closed backs will give you a little bit more of an intimate, you know, listening experience. All right, uh, well, my question is the mic detachable? It is not detachable. It's kind of all, it's all fixed on there, but you know, you can just kind of swing it out of the way whenever you don't need it, and you can use them as like a regular pair of headphones. ATH ADG1 High Fidelity Gaming Headset. They are $300 retail. I'm only saying that because I just read it all off of that. The rest of the information I'm not going to read because I'm kind of doing a bad thing. This is an actual mic test. The cord going around here. And up into this one. I like this mic. It's not invasive. I don't see it in my periphery. And it's just gonna like right there, and I don't I don't feel like it. Uh, I mean, you can hear any pops or anything from my voice or any of that. No. So a lot of really high end headphones over here. These are like higher end than the 900s and the 700s. Yes. So what are we looking at here? So we are looking at some of the. I guess you'd say they're newer. I mean, the, Japan has been making these for a long time, and sometimes we bring them to the states, and sometimes we don't, depending on what we think the market looks like. And actually, you know, I, I, I would say our audiophile market has opened up a little bit more and the channels that we can distribute in have opened up a little bit more. So we've decided to bring the A1000X and the A2000X into the line. And we also have the AD versions, which are the open back versions as well. Um, so I believe the MSRPs on these is $699 and $799. And, um, you know, it's just the meticulous engineering that goes into audiophile type headphones is what really makes them worth the money. You know, we, we have... Um, a specific set of standards that we have to go through during the manufacturing process. And it takes a long time to manufacture these because of that. So we make sure we're getting the driver just right. This comes with a um, double air damping system, a DADS, which I'm sure a lot of the audiophiles are familiar with. And basically what that does is it makes sure that it, um, it uh, will kind of take any of the vibrations out of the audio, like anything that's coming up the line, make sure that things are, are going to be pristine when you listen to them through the ear cups. So super comfortable. It's made for long listening pleasure. It's got these awesome 3D wing support. It kind of like floats on your head a little bit, just like that. It, like you can barely feel like it's even there. And uh, the cushy ear pads just make it exceptional. And like I said, all of the materials that go into manufacturing these are just like our highest quality materials. I, I know I'm kind of showing you the uh, 699 version. We actually have something over in the listing lounge that's like $1,200 and it's got this amazing ebony wood. So like I said, it, when you go from like the A500, which is like the lowest in our line, which is $169, up to $1,200, 
you're talking material differences, um, you're talking frequency response differences, and it's really just kind of what you're looking for and what kind of price range you can afford. But yeah, there's definite differences as you're stepping up into the line. I spy some USB desktop microphones. What do we have here, Crystal? Right here is the ATR2100 USB, and it's not just a USB microphone. I mean, it does that and a little bit more. It also has the XLR cable that comes with it, too. So it can be either an XLR microphone or it can be a USB microphone. It's kind of intended for USB functionality, obviously, because we put the little computer on the box here and kind of show you like how you can use it for various things like podcasting or recording. Um, but it's got everything you need for all that kind of stuff. It comes with a tripod stand. It has a headphone input, so you can listen to what you're talking about when you're talking about it. You can uh, turn the volume up and down on it as well, so it has a volume control too. So pretty cool, pretty uh, cool product. What's the uh, price point on this one? This is $79.95. Okay. So if somebody has like a, a nice pair of headphones and they want to do get a mic for gaming, that, that may even work for that, so that's cool. Yeah, it might. And then uh, what's the other one there? Okay. The condenser. The ATR 2500 USB. And uh, this is a side address. And um, it has all the same features except for the XLR like the other one does. Um, but it's really great because it also comes with the tripod, also has the headphone, headphone input. Um, also has the, the, the control. So, I mean, basically what it, what it comes down to is like form factor, you know? It's whatever your preference is gonna be from one to the next. This has a $99 price tag on it. So, depending on like, again, what you're looking for is what you're gonna get. with the union I mean she needs a break I mean come on <laughs> this, this is these talent damn, here these damn unions I can't see? get anything done <laughs> 